Uh, welcome to the uh, Trust War, Scissor Trust Wars. The Scissor Trust Wars. This is so effed up. This is so effed up. I'm going to show you what I mean. Here's the house right here. Okay. It's a house. And uh, I built, I built, I think I built these two roofs as conventional, and I built these two roofs as trusses. Whatever. Or vice versa. That's the idea. Here's a plan right here, okay? And I built, I built this roof, just so you know, I built this roof. I'm going to tell you right now, I built this roof conventional. It did, it did not have a, a trust designation. I built this roof as a trust roof. It did have a trust designation. And then I built ceiling planes. One, two, three, four. I believe these two were built as conventional. I didn't have trust designa designation set. These two I had trust these two I had trust designation set. And I've cut four sections through each one of those conditions. Uh, you can see in one uh, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. You can see this red line right here on each one of these details. That's the default plate height. That's the default plate height. Now you can see the top left hand corner. That top plate height shows where the, where the, listen to this. That top plate height is where the top of the wall is. Makes sense to me. This was conventionally framed. The uh, ceiling joist was, put on, it was built on the outside plane. Conventional roof. I guess it's, I guess it makes sense. Let's look at this over here. Again, you can see the, the red line, which is the conventional plate height, right? I mean, right at the top of the plate, it makes sense. But this time, I, do, I built it as a conventional roof, and I built the uh, uh, ceiling plate on the inside pl plate. Not good. Not good. In this case, it's not good. I didn't use it as a, tr as a truss. Whatever. Now, let's, let's look at over, over here. I built these out of trusses. Look, look, look where the look where the top plates are. They're higher than the plate height, aren't they? Look over here. Again, the plate height, 109 and an eighth inch. Look where the top plates are. I'm going to show you something right now. I'm going to show you something right now. You understand that th this and this, the pl top plates make sense. On this and this, the top plates don't make sense. They're not set where they should be. I'm going to fix that real, real, uh, real quick for you. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to come over here to uh, roof plane. Wait, I'm going to change it to trusses. I'm going to change it to trusses. Now, keep in mind, I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but when I do plans, I have trusses, I have half trusses, half conventional framing. I do remodels. There's a mixture. They're not all trusses. It's not all conventionally framed. There's a mixture. Now watch what happens. This is this is the whole point of this video. Watch what happens when I hit trusses. When I change the default to trusses. Maybe this makes sense to you guys, but it doesn't to me. Watch what happens. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. The top left, top right picture is going to get all screwed up. The top plates are going to get all screwed up. <coughs> but the bottom left and bottom right pictures, they're going to get fixed. Because they're gonna be trusses. Watch this. Just, just see what happened. Now on, the, on this, the plates are in the right location, but the plates over here are not. Does that make sense? I mean, am I missing something here? Do I need to hit F12? Is, is F12 gonna? I mean, I, 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 I've seen this stuff before. I never was able to put my finger on it. But look at this. But why is this plate down? This plate's below the plate height. I mean, can't... Okay, anyway, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, one more time, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to change this to... I'm going to change this to uh, not trusses. My point is, this right here seems to affect a lot of stuff. There it is. There it is. There it is. I... You, I'm not sure what I can tell you. I'm not. I'm not sure what to say. 
I, I just don't, I mean, am I doing something wrong? And I've seen this, and I just sort of ignored it, and I just sort of glossed over it. But the point again is, I, I mean, if I if I change this default to trusses, does that mean all my my plate heights drop down? Does that make any sense to you guys? Seriously, I mean, does it make any sense? You know, I was trying to put my finger on this. In my earlier videos, and I just couldn't do it. I'm gonna try something here real quick. Real quick, I'm just gonna change this to uh, uh, 17. Uh, so I, I just thicken that one particular wall up just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna see what happens here. Here we go. I'm gonna change this back to. No trusses as a default. What happens to the top plates? That's what we're going to look at. Notice the two bottom pictures. The top plates are in the right location, I think. Now the, the bottom two pictures are in the wrong location, but the top ones are in the right location. That Here's the whole point of this thing. This is the whole point of this. If you change from a default of trusses, to conventional framing, it changes your plate heights. It's stupid. It's not working right. I'm done. I, I, I wasted enough time on this crap. This is the kind of crap that just, anyway. Anyway, uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it just, uh, I, this is a simple house. I mean, what, 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 why is it doing this? Do I have to be a careful? Anyway, I'm done. That's it.